I spent the last two years of high school in a daze, locking away the questions that life seemed insistent on posing. I kept playing basketball, attended classes sparingly, drank beer heavily, and tried drugs enthusiastically. I discovered that it didn't make any difference whether you smoked reefer in the white classmate's sparkling new van, or in the dorm room with some brother you'd met down at the gym, or on the beach with a couple of Hawaiian kids who had dropped out of school and now spent most of their time looking for an excuse to brawl. All right, that was President Obama reading from his own memoir, Dreams from My Father, which we've been dissecting right here on this program. Well, my next guest seems to have a real issue with the president's admission of drug use. Listen to this. I say weed, I say blow, it's all a big deal, ha, 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 huge laugh from the college students. And if he had been busted under his laws, he would have done hard time. And if he had done time in prison, time in federal prison, time for his weed and a little blow, he would not be president of the United States of America. And he would not have gone to his fancy college. He would not have sold books that sold millions and millions of copies and made millions and millions of dollars. He would not have a great job. He would have been in prison and it's not a joke. All right, let me let me ask you about Obama. Mm -hmm. And I know you're a libertarian. Yes, I am. And and you told me uh, earlier you're interested in the libertarian candidate perhaps for president. Yeah, yeah, yeah if I, if I, I think Gary Johnson's pretty good, you yeah. know. The nice thing about uh well, I wish this were true for all the candidates. Yeah. Is their personal beliefs don't matter if they have a real strong theory of government. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh Ron Paul I can disagree with on creationism because I know that Ron Paul wants to wants to circum, you know, circumscribe yeah. the uh, where government is, so his opinions don't matter. But here's the point: you know, and I know, and Neil Bortz, who's in the studio tonight, he knows. He's a libertarian friend of yeah. mine. Gary Johnson's not going to win, so isn't that a half a vote for Obama? Now think about this: five trillion dollars in debt. This country is headed to being Greece. Why give him? I would argue a half a vote. Because I believe that voting for the lesser of two evils in game theory will always lead to more evil. You can just do that I, mathematically. I don't know if it's the lesser of two evils. I think you have to. Oh, well, that's different then. Repealing Obamacare. If you actually believe that Romney is a fabulous candidate, then you should vote for him. I don't. Most of the stuff I disagree with Obama on, I also disagree with Romney on. To me, they're much more similar than they are to you. What what a libertarian is, is of course, as far as far right as you can go on money, and as far left as you can go on sex. You know, <laughs> take a left on sex, a right on Thanks money. Thanks a lot for. Sharing that. Utopia it's a little too much. Ahead. I don't think your no, mother no. would appreciate when that. When I say you know? sex, oh, I just mean social issues. I'm kidding. I Socially, just mean, right. I just mean as m every question that comes up politically, from a moral point of view, not from a pragmatic point of view, I ask myself, is there any way to solve this issue with more freedom instead of less? I is love that question. Is there any way we can trust? Just ask that question yeah. first. Is there any yeah. way we can give people more freedom? It the, was the you know idea. What the sad thing is, the country, sadly, has been conditioned mentally to believe government is the answer to their problems. Well, you know, so it, it's, I, I it's a problem. Often, I hear you often use, you know, use the word morality. And my argument with you on that would simply yeah. be morality cannot be legislated. Morality Agree. has to be individual. It has to be from the heart. And you can't bring the government in to try to See, make... but if everyone lived your way, and I got a break, unfortunately, we, I want to have you back for a longer sure. period of time. I'd love that. You know, I, I talked to you the, earlier, and I said Thomas Paine said, where the guides and dictates of mm -hmm. conscience irresistibly obeyed, there'd be no need for any lawmaker, none. But the whole, so that's not. But the whole people aren't living like you. What percentage of people are good? I say the vast majority, and that may be my difference. Instinctively, but I think human beings also have a proclivity towards evil. So great to see. You. I'm going to see you next time I'm in uh, Vegas. Please do, please. I would do. love to. Uh, and coming up next, the real Obama tonight. We take a look at the president's standoff with the Catholic Church.